Hey there. Today I want to go over um, the four fundamental pin states and developing your sense of feedback so you can understand what it is you're feeling inside the lock and, and build a better mental image of uh, the current state of the lock. So we have the four fundamental states are completely unset like we have now. The pins are all at rest. Then we have set, which is what everybody's going after. Then underset and overset. And I'll show examples of each of those. But the first and most important exercise to go through is just figuring out what the pins feel like. So slide your pin in, your pick in, and I like to go to the back, lift up slightly, and I'm, get, I'm going to exaggerate the motion here, but what you're going to do is drag your pick out and trace the outline of the underside of these key pins. You'll find that as you come between key pins, there's, there's a space where your pick moves up, and then it dips down underneath the key pin and then back into the space between and down and up. And so it's it's this outline. And it's very important to note that the spaces are regularly spaced because the distance between each pin is the same and the diameters are the same. That's very important when we're detecting oversets later on. And another way to, to get used to feeling the pins is to come in from the front, get under the first pin, lift it up, and then ram into the next pin, dip down, lift up, ram into the next one, dip down, lift up. That's a good way to, to count pins to figure out where you're at in the lock. So next we will apply tension and we're gonna set one of the pins. Okay, so now we do the same exercise. Ah, forgive me, there's a lot more open space in this cut away, it's hard to keep my pick on track. So now when we do the same thing, we can feel the pins. That one's actually binding, so it didn't, I didn't feel the spring, but here, it's still regularly spaced. There's a, there's a pin there. You can feel the key pin, but there's no spring. So that means it's either set or it's under set. And we can see right now, if you lift the key pin and it contacts the driver, at the very end of travel, there's the tiniest amount of spring. See how the driver is actually moving under spring pressure? That means it's set. This, this is a properly set pin. Hey, I just have one quick addition. I realized when I watched this video after recording that I didn't actually use the term jiggle test. And that's, that's what this is. I just want to demystify that because um, it, can be, it can be confusing or mysterious for new pickers who don't understand what it is. This is it. This is the jiggle test. It's, it's something you want to learn as early as you can, and it's going to carry you through your entire picking career. And I'm going to go ahead and link to a longer, more detailed video from, from Captain that he did on, um, on jiggle testing for high security locks. Okay, back to the show. Um, if, it, if it was under set, which would be this state, I'll do it with a, a longer driver in a minute. So let's let's look at overset instead. So overset, now when you're dragging out, there's no pin. The pin doesn't come back down, so it's interrupted our regular spacing. So to, to recover, you just hold your pick in the center of that, that new gap and bring tension back until you feel it drop. And... Ah, come on, there we go. Okay, we're set again. So let's let's continue picking, and then we'll we'll look at under setting. So now we can see from the back that one's set, that one's set. You see how all the springs are slightly compressing. But then we get to here. Now we have this one is completely unset. This one is set. This one is set. This one is under set. The you can feel the key pin on the pick. There's it. It rises without resistance, just like the set pins. But instead of feeling that springiness right here, you just feel the binding driver. It hits a hard, unyielding stop. But you can lift through it. There's and continue lifting, and set the pin. So now we'll just where are we at? So there we go. 
Hopefully that uh, helps illuminate a few things. Happy picking.